Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I'll start with a fresh chapter from English and that is On Killing a Tree by Jeev Patil. So let's begin with the video. So first as always let's know about Jeev Patil who is the poet of the poem. Jeev Patil is not only a poet but also a painter and an environmentalist. His poem On Killing a Tree speaks about deep concerns about nature and man's evil habits of cutting trees for selfish motives. Now, let's know about its summary. The poem On Killing a Tree is like an instruction manual for killing a tree. Moreover, let me tell you the poem is very sensitive. By the lines you will understand that the poet is encouraging to cut the trees but no if you go deep inside the poem you will understand what's actually going on the poet is totally against cutting down of trees it tells the reader that trees are living beings they are not cut but killed properly by uprooting the roots that are inserted deeply in the soil through the poem the poet teaches us many lessons First of all the poem illustrates the courage and strength of trees through which it teaches us to be strong and determined like we know that a sapling takes so many years to grow into a tree transform into a tree therefore we have to understand that it's very strong even if flood comes or any kind of uh, disaster happens what happens that the tree loses their hopes no they stay determined they have the resilience power inside them that's what we require in our lives then it points out that evils are just like roots they are deeply rooted within us and even if we feel we have vanquished them it suddenly appears therefore to kill an evil we must put in our best efforts and uproot it but that doesn't mean that you should uproot the trees okay that's not good at all Thirdly it teaches us th- the way we must bring all our work to a proper end like if you are cutting a tree and uprooting it you have to make sure the roots are getting that choking heat from the sun and the tree has totally died out otherwise if you are killing a tree a little bit then you will find if you are keeping it unchecked in the poem only you will read the tree will again heal that area and it will continue its journey And lastly it requests us not to cut trees that sustain our lives how are we foolish like human kind aren't understanding that trees are important for us only they are not taking anything trees are a part of nature they know only to give but humans how much they can gain how much they can take from anybody therefore in the image you can see that a tree is trying to gift apples fruits whatever they uh something good right but people what are they gifting they are gifting to be killed out and who will like to be killed out right now let's know about this tree very important one first of all killing a tree is equal to killing a life second to create awareness in people's mind third trees have emotions it can pain it can bleed just that they don't show that they are in pain or they are in sorrow that doesn't mean they don't suffer from these all things cutting a tree is an act of murder we feel like no no we should not do any kind of murder but by cutting a tree we are not doing less than a murder trees take years to grow that's why we should care it right and the last point this approval of mankind is failure to care for the earth let's move forward with the stanzas first stanza it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves 
So in the first stanza, the poet is saying that it takes a lot of time to kill a tree. It's not just like a, a easy job to do it, right? And simple jab. Jab means to hit something forcefully. Like a simple jab of the knife, or a simple cut cannot do this work. Cannot attempt this work. Okay. Why? Because it has grown slowly. Consuming. Consuming means the tree has grown by securing. Uh, the food and nourishment from the earth. So earth has been taking care of the tree for so many years, and it has got sunlight, air, water, soil, and what not. And what does the word crust means? Upper layer of the earth absorbing means to take something in slowly. So it has taken so many years. Then how can a simple jab or simple knife can cut this? Okay. And the last one. and out of its leprous hide leprosy we know it's a disease okay so we know the colors of the bark of a tree is uneven right and it's a dull also so you can find that the dull combination with sprouting leaves that means new to produce leaves okay so something is good happening with that discolored bark or uneven bark Now let's know about the summary of stanza one. A simple cut does not destroy a tree. A tree grows gradually. It is rooted in the soil. A plant takes nutrition from the soil to grow into a big tree. The tree is firmly bound with the soil. It takes in sunlight, water, air to grow into a strong trunk and have numerous leaves. Okay. Now let's move on to stanza number two. So hack and chop, but this alone won't do it. Not so much pain will do it. The bleeding bark will heal, and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs, miniature boughs, which, if unchecked, will expand again to form a size. So over here, the actual point comes about the cutting. Okay, hack and chop. Even if you try to cut it for many times, you will find that this alone cannot do this work. And cannot perform this okay and this also proves that a tree is so much resilient and so much powerful in itself only this much pain will not be able to kill a tree completely the bleeding bark bleeding bark is a personification here human qualities are given the bark will not bleed but the the poet is trying to show that the bleeding bark will heal if it is unchecked it will again heal it will try to heal itself and from there only the green twigs that means the beginning of a fresh life will be shown miniature boughs what does miniature boughs mean small branches will also come from there and as i told you if it is unchecked it will again expand to its former size as it was earlier former size means previous size No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied, and pulled out, snapped out, or pulled out entirely, out from the earth cave, and the strength of the tree exposed, the source white and wet, the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth. See over here, the actual points come, and you will find that third stanza is starting with no, totally a negative point, and this stanza and the fourth stanza is very different from one or two. Okay, so now he's showing the actual way to pull it out. He's saying that no, the root is to be pulled out. The main way to cut the tree or to kill a tree is to pull the roots, uproot it from the. Anchoring earth. That means trees are held securely with the help of the roots in the earth, and you will find that it's the strength of the root. Roots are the strength. Okay, so soil is the strength of the root, and root is the strength of the tree. Okay, so now it has to be roped. The tree has to be roped, tied, and it has to be pulled out at the highest pressure possible, and snapped out means chopped out totally. Okay, and after pulling it out entirely from the earth cave, the strength of the tree will now get exposed. Okay, and what will be the source? It means the root, white and wet totally. Okay, and the most sensitive, that means the root, 
okay hidden for years inside the earth if it is getting exposed to suddenly such uh, heat and uh, it it is showing white and wet that means something is going wrong with the roots because it has been hidden for years inside the earth suddenly it is getting exposed to heat right now let's know about its summary the poet says that in order to kill the tree it has to be uprooted right one has to separate the tree from the earth which supports it the roots of the trees bind the trees with the help of soil in the pit of the earth from there the most sensitive and hidden part of the tree that is the roots have to be detached the roots are white in color and are damp okay so now let's move forward with the last stanza of the poem that is stanza 4 and basically over here we are going to discuss about the matter the situation of the roots which is going to happen and how at last a tree would be cut so then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done so matter where you know it's it uh, it means situation so the matter of scorching and choking sun okay scorching and choking means the drying up of the tree after being uprooted it will brown it will harden that means it will become hard it will twist that means turn wither that means it will become weak and slowly slowly it will die out and what does this phrase and then it is done means a kill is sorry a tree is uprooted or a tree is died simple okay so by reading the stanzas you can understand the pain right now let's know about the poetic devices of on killing a tree but before that let me tell you briefly about poetic devices what are those these are literary devices used in poetry they are essential tools that a poet uses to create rhythm okay enhance the poem's meaning or intensify a mood or feeling you will enjoy finding all the poetic devices if you understand them see the basic ones i have find it out for you like metaphor alliteration personification and jabman repetition these five are the most important prominent and basic ones okay so i have written it like metaphor uh, over here in the poem you will find leprosite and breathing bark okay you can uh, have that comparison or you can feel that right alliteration that means uh, more words like letters if t is there then it has been carried many times in a same line like it takes much time to kill a tree okay so we have t for takes t for time and t for tree okay the bleeding bark will heal b b bleeding and bark which if unchecked will expand again okay now over here you can find w and will w okay then at last the source white and wet so w and again w then personification as i mentioned earlier it's giving human qualities to non living things but let me tell you tree is a living thing okay it has grown slowly consuming the earth okay bleeding bark will heal on killing a tree and enjambment enjambment means the continuation of lines okay many lines are there like in stanza 4 without any full stop in between like then the matter and i have given a few full stops and then it is done continuation marks okay so so that whole stanza is enjambment and repetition overall the poem you will find pulled out pulled out is used many times that means he is giving a pressure upon that point that it has to be pulled out okay so i hope you enjoy today's session it's a humble request that we must plant as many saplings as many possible and we are actually you know helping our earth on which we are staying today in uh, getting healed and again becoming green okay that's it from my side i hope you enjoyed today's class so meeting in our next video till then like share and subscribe to our channel Thank you.